Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different style reading vlog. I've wanted to make this video for a while I've talked about it a bit and I don't really know what to call this There'll be a title obviously eventually, but I don't know what this is But basically I'm going to be trying out a bunch of first volumes in different manga series and seeing like my first impressions of the series and how volume one is and also which ones i'm going to continue with which ones are just okay which ones i might continue with and which ones i'm definitely not going to continue with so i have about five or so i might even add more to this list of mangas like the first volumes that i haven't read before that i want to read so we're going to be doing that i'll give you guys summaries along the way when i do read them just when i know more what they're about but i'll show you the ones i have so far first is if it's for my daughter i'd even defeat a demon lord so fun Hatsuharu and this one I'm really excited about I know it's like um I'll talk about it more but it's like a tomboy and then like short tempered girl kind of thing cute yeah this one called Beast of Abigail don't know much about this either right now but I own this I also have the girl from the other side I actually bought this when I went to New York and yeah I bought it from the Kikunawa bookstore so it's like all wrapped and stuff but I'm excited about this one and then just recently, my friend Christian actually bought me Love in Focus, which this is like a rom-com kind of thing, I believe. So I'm excited to read all of these and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on them throughout the next couple days. Basically, what I look for in first volumes of manga is obviously a, a proper introduction to the characters, the plot. Um, if I like the art style, is something like that it would be established in the first volume. Is the art style, the way the author writes, things like that. I also... Depending on which one, I like a bit of a darkness to my mangas. I know some of them won't have that just because they're more rom com -y, so I'm not going to like knock stars off for that. So, but I like really dark mangas and I also like really light and fluffy ones. So we will see um, what they have to offer. I love when mangas have a bit of humor in them as well. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm excited about this video. So I'll keep you guys posted. So last night I finished one of the manga that I was talking to you guys about. So I ended up finishing Love in Focus and this is by, I'm going to butcher all these names, but this is by Yoko Nagari. Okay, not too bad. Um, so this essentially follows a girl who is really into photography. She's going into her first year of high school and she decides to move in with her childhood best friend and he lives with like a bunch of other people kind of like in a college dorm kind of setting but I, but it's like a high school so i'm like what but not the point she moves in with a, like with her best friend and it's about like her like um relationships and her like love of photography and her backstory and the uh, romances that she's probably gonna have with other guys that live in the same building as her so this was actually really good i think i'm probably gonna give it like a 3.5 stars it was super enjoyable i really liked the little romance thing if you like like dream and sun you'll probably like this and i just think it's really nice to get a character who is like in love with photography and like has like all these reasons for it and like has a passion for it and talks about it i also love seeing the friendship as well as the romance that's probably gonna sprout i just hope this does not become a love triangle i don't think it will because what the dude sees her as like a sibling but still i think this is a really enjoyable read i don't think it's anything phenomenal or new i think the main character can be a bit annoying at times she kind of gets in people's faces a lot and is a little bit um <laughs> I don't even know how to say intrusive like she's a little bit in your face and she kind of has that young irritating girl thing but it's fine and the role like the love interest right now has some like tropes to him and stuff but it's a nice read I like the artwork and I liked the overall like point of it um, i think there's definitely some tropes and cliches that you're gonna see in this of course but it's for a romance manga i would continue with this it's not like my top priority to buy the second one but it's definitely one that i would continue with so that's really exciting so i like this one this one was a, a win for me Hey, 
I just finished filming some videos, so I'm like in a super good mood, feeling super productive. So yeah, some of my videos didn't turn out properly or the way I wanted them to, so I decided to refilm them and re like film a few other things and yeah. Manga update, last night I finished, or early this morning, like 12.30 I think, so early. But I finished, if it's for my daughter, I'd defeat a demon lord. This was really interesting. It is essentially about this boy who finds this girl in the woods and she's just alone and she's next to her dad's corpse and she's just standing near this corpse alone. This boy decides to take her in and look after her and we don't really know his age. It's not really established. I assume like he's young. Yeah, he's young, but like I'm not sure of his age, which I don't know. I honestly don't know. I was like maybe like 20, but then I'm like, I don't know. So he finds this girl and she has little horns too. So this kind of has some like magical fantasy components as well. And he has to learn kind of how to be a father, how to take care of her. His like mother is trying to like help him and be like, oh, I'll take care of her and stuff. And he's like, no, I really want to do this. And he like tries to take care of her. It's pretty cute. The daughter in this is actually so, so adorable. And I'm really interested to see like if I continue with the volumes I'm interested to see how she develops and learns and she kind of has some like abilities as well that's talked about but it was really interesting it's not really what I expected I don't know what I expected but it wasn't this like if I were to describe this in one word it'd be wholesome because it was super wholesome like this dad was just trying like this guy was just trying to teach this little girl how to read and write properly and how to understand english and it's just so cute and he is pretty young so it's really nice to do, see just someone doing something so important and so just beautiful without them wanting something in return because he's just wants to help her and that is so beautiful to see. I'm giving this one around like a three star rating though. The art, there was some like missing panels. Like I was wondering if I skipped pages, like if the pages were stuck together, if I missed a page or something, but like I never did because I checked the page numbers. So there was just some things missing in the panels and some parts where the story didn't line up properly. Things that I was a little bit iffy about, like again, I really wanted the age to be established of this character or at least some kind of age range that was indicated just for the fact that um, he does like help bathe her and things like that, which is not shown, but he does help with stuff like that. So I just wanted some more clarification on his age, stuff like that, just because I really hope this doesn't start turn into any kind of creepy thing in the series. I don't think it will, but like I was, I, that just came to mind. So I thought I'd mention it. This is not a one that would be my top priority. I would not go out of my way to buy a, like the second volume and pay like a 12 bucks, 15 bucks to read the second one. If I saw it for a discounted price, I would pick up the second volume, but it's not my top priority. It's definitely not one that I'm super excited to continue with, but it was mostly enjoyable and had a really cute concept. This was so, so, so good. I just finished it just now. I'll talk about it more in a bit, but oh my god. So, yeah, I'll talk about what it's about later, but I love this so much. The art is stunning. Like, one of my favorite art styles. I love, like, the really dark and gritty, like, art, art styles. And, like, the color palette is just, like, black and white in this one. Also, it's just so interesting, and I just really like it. It's talking about curses, darkness so many things and there's two different kingdoms the outsiders and then the people who are not outsiders what are they actually called the inside and it's about an outsider who is this guy right here and he is taking care of this young child and their relationship is just really cute he he's like the dad figure i guess and she's trying to wait for her auntie to come back and he's looking after her for now and we don't really know what went on with her or what happened but all we know and or and stuff like that but we just know that he if you touch him you'll get a curse um that's what outsiders kind of are so this is so cool i'm probably gonna give this one like four stars i really enjoyed it i think this is definitely the one that i feel most it left my cliffhanger too so i'm like most inclined to pick up the second volume of this one at this point so this one was a real big su success for me last night i started and finished beasts of abigail i hated this <laughs> i gave it one star it's basically about werewolves there's supposed to be a romance even though he says he owns her um 
it's really possessive all the men are really possessive and there's a lot of abuse and a lot of things happening but it's supposed to be a fun romance so I'm confused but yeah I hated this it was awful I'm gonna talk about it more later but these tabs are all for things <laughs> like not good things so yeah this one I have the second volume unfortunately so like I am either gonna get rid of these or read the second one just because I have it I don't know but this was really bad would not recommend this I just have one more volume to read in this little video series that in this little in the little manga stack that I have I just have one more to read so I'm going to take that with me today when I go out and then I'll update you guys tonight on my thoughts on it and then give you guys a whole wrap up on all the mangas if I think the series are worth it which ones I'm going to be continuing with and my favorites a more formal synopsis and my thoughts on each one this Hatsuheiru um yesterday I know I probably butchered that name but I finished this yesterday the cover looks so cute and it wasn't good in my opinion it's basically about a playboy who's like mm -hmm, girls are lucky to date me and he's like super cocky and then he meets some girl who like doesn't fall for his tricks and she's kind of like she sticks up for herself and she's like you know less girly or like whatever she stands up for herself and stuff like that and she like calls him out and stuff and he tries to get her to fall for him and that's the plot <laughs> which i don't like i don't like the tropes that are being used i really didn't like a lot of the things that he said it, it had a lot of scenes where like all the boys were together just talking about girls and like their next like conquests and stuff and i'm like no so i gave this one two stars the art was i may mostly give it like another star for the art and for some of the um and for the main character the girl riku because she had that tomboy attitude and stuck up for herself and you know it kind of reminded me of myself in a lot of ways and i just think it was really good to have a character like that especially in manga so yeah i'll talk more about this and all of the other books in the wrap-up that will be in the very next clip where i summarize the books and my thoughts and if i'm going to continue with the series be wrapping up all of the manga that I read in the past little bit starting from my least favorite to my favorite one. Starting at number five we have Beast of Abigail and it's about werewolves and it's about this girl named Nina who kind of gets thrown into this world of like all these different types of werewolves like the Luga. There's also a boarding school slash academy that she starts to go school go to the Abigail school and she meets people. It was bad. <laughs> Not only did the characters have little to no personality and the plot was super info dumpy, I think the whole thing was explained in like a few panels, like the main stuff was explained on like less than two pages. They really didn't do a good job of spreading that out and like establishing the concept in the first volume and like what the rest of the series is going to follow. That just wasn't there. All the men in this story were super overprotective. There's a lot of abuse happening here and a lot of like non-consensual stuff that happens to the main character and it was just really not good. I would not recommend it. I gave it one star. I hated it. Yeah. Next I have Hatsuhuru. So I just talked about this one recently um, in like the previous clip but this one it basically follows this boy who is kind of the ladies man kind of thing and he basically starts getting interested in this girl that like is immune to all his charm and he and she's um the tom tomboy kind of person she sticks up for herself and stuff like that which is so great to see i was so happy about that but overall this book just wasn't great i really hated seeing some of the scenes with our main male lead and i just think a lo the romance was poorly done and it's just like so many tropes that i really hate were just in this and i really didn't enjoy it so i gave this one two stars <laughs> number three was if it's for my daughter i defeat a demon lord and this one was actually really cute and it's about this guy we don't really know his age i think he's young but essentially he ends up finding this little girl stuck in the woods and she has little like horns and she's so cute and she has little horns and he takes her in and tries to take care of her and his like parents like his mom is really persistent on like no I'll take care of her I'll look after her I'll do this and he really sticks up as his father figure role and I thought that was really nice it's basically about him raising a little demon girl and he it's really 
I really liked it. I think the little girl, like I think the characters were really adorable in this and I liked seeing that like fatherly figure in the story. Overall, it wasn't incredible. I think I'd give it like a three or 3.5. I think I gave it three stars and I think that's pretty fair. Um, I would read the next volumes, but I would not pay full price for them. But I would continue with this series if I were gifted them or if I found them for a good price. I would continue with this one. The previous two, on the other hand, no. My top two I absolutely loved. So first we have Love and Focus and this I gave four stars. I actually think I gave this like 3.5 or 3.75 but it's definitely a four star read for me so it is gonna it did boost up. I'm re I really want to read the next one and apparently this is a new release. It came out like not long ago like it came out a few months ago and I'm like really? So I'm gonna have to wait forever for the next one. Basically it's about this girl named Mako who has this passion for photography and she moves across the country to go to school and one of her childhood best friends who is a boy she moves in with him and all of his roommates so she it's about her meeting the roommates and her relationship with different people and all that stuff yeah i really like this i thought it was really nice to see a character who had a certain passion especially for photography i thought that was really refreshing this did have kind of like some they all have little little tropes in them this one did have a few of those but overall it was super super enjoyable it was really cute if you like dream and sun i think you would really really enjoy this one and then my favorite one that i'm that i gave four stars but i definitely want would boost up to a 4.5 is the girl from the other side the story separated into two lands the outside and then like kind of the inside i believe on one hand these beasts who look kind of like this roll around and that's kind of what the outside is about and you don't want to go there and you don't want to like touch any of the beasts because they will like suck your soul more like humans and like bright and sunny haha <laughs> fun basically this is about a beast from the outside and this young girl from the inside and they meet and they he kind of treats her like a daughter and that's just what this was about it was so cute i really enjoyed it the art style is absolutely beautiful I love this series so far and it's like the whole one he's human one one human one who's not and like their relationship and I love how like he just was such a dad and I the little girl I just really enjoyed her parts of the story and it was it's such an interesting concept one of my favorite art styles in manga like these, these really dark gritty kind of art styles and it was kind of like not creepy at points but it had that creepy kind of art style to it and that dark tone to the story so i love this one so i am going to for sure be buying the next volume of this i will probably be rereading the next volume in this when it's released i could would possibly continue with this series if i got it for a discounted price and I am not going to be continuing with either of these. That is my little manga wrap up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up because I worked super, super hard on it. So I really hope you guys liked it. As always, my, all my social media is down below, including my Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Goodreads, Twitter, Instagram, all the stuff is down below. I also have my Patreon page down below if you want to support me on another platform. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much and I'll see you super soon. Bye. Bye.